Hi, I'm Mike Field, a member of the Function One Web Center Sites team, and today I'll be showing you how to create Oracle Jet modules as assets within Oracle Web Center Sites. Here's an example of a simple Oracle Jet module. It's an OJ input text component. And here is the source code. Oracle Jet modules usually consist of two files that reside on the file system, the HTML view and the JavaScript view model. These can be a bit cumbersome to maintain, especially once you start creating lots of modules and or if you're working on a clustered environment, and sometimes you may not even have easy access to the file system. A solution is to make the HTML and JavaScript files as assets in Web Center sites instead of static files on the file system. Since Oracle Jet by default looks for modules in a specific folder on a file system, the way to achieve this is to override the default paths in the Oracle Jet configuration. For example, let's say we create a module called My Input Text. Normally, you'll have two files on the file system. In the JS slash View Models folder, MyInputText.js, and in the JS Views folder, MyInputText.html. Normally, you would include this module in your template with code similar to this. Instead of putting the JavaScript and HTML files on the file system, create two CS element and site entry pairs with these names, oj slash modules slash my input text and oj slash modules slash my input text view. Here is the code for the modules as static files, HTML and JavaScript. We now move them into CS Elements site entry pairs. These are the CS Elements, and I've already created them in my system just copying the code from the original files, and here are the site entries. Finally, Override the default location for Oracle Jet view models and views. The best place to do this is at the same time you include the required JS file. Here is the code to overwrite, override the default locations. And we're going to put it in the same file where we call require.js. Notice the last few lines reset the default prefixes and file locations. And that's it. Now when you include a module, Jet will prefix it with the appropriate content server page name value. You can create more modules the same way, just make sure every time you create a new one you create a CS element and site entry pair starting with oj slash modules slash. Be sure to check out the Function 1 white paper entitled Creating Oracle Jet Modules as Assets in Oracle Web Center Sites for a more detailed discussion and working code samples. Thanks for tuning in to Function 1 TV. Email us at info at function1.com with any questions or follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn for more insights into the world of enterprise technology.